Hi everyone. I want to introduce you to the spring season knit along. This is the holly blue cardigan and it is a cardigan that I'm actually really excited about because it was one that I feel as a designer I grew into the ability to write in a cohesive and easy to follow way and I'm now able to actually create every part of it the way that I want it to be created so that it looks really good and it's easy to knit so it's a win-win situation but I will tell you both about the cardigan design and about the yarn that it was knit with so I can start with the yarn first of all the sample is knit this is the third size and it is you can see it's kind of loose I've given myself a good few inches of positive ease because I felt that this was a nice one to have a little bit looser easier to wear that way so that is the first thing it's yeah a little bit slightly oversized and looser so you can actually up or down that depending on your own personal style the yarn is new as sport I went for Hatter's Teal Party this one here which is a lovely vibrant blue um, but there's 18 different colors in the newest sport in the kits that you can actually go find to knit with so you could go with this is cerebellum which is a slightly more muted pinky color there's also kind of um, there's there's browns there's grays there's light grays dark grays so you can go very subtle if you want to you could go even brighter if you wanted as well with the cafe flamingo so that is probably one of my favorite colors so it'd be gorgeous in this as well so there's there's loads and loads of different colors that you can check out so just go take a look and pick your favorite and find the one that you feel that you're most likely to get a lot of wear out of and who knows maybe you'll knit more than one sometimes uh, there's cardigans that you might need different colors for every different season or for different outfits and things like that so yeah pick your favorite or pick multiple favorites and knit a few because it is a very fast knit so it's knit from the top down with circular yoke construction the edging is added afterwards and i actually prefer to add edging afterwards simply because it gives you a little bit more ability to modify and it actually gives you a much tidier neck finish because it's less likely to stretch out because you've both got the cast on and an extra bind off at the edge so for something like circular yoke where a lot of the weight of the cardigan is hanging on the neck the more reinforcement you can give at that point the better because you give it a lot more stability so it starts from that point down you've got I'll turn around here you've got a few short rows back and forth that raise the back up a little so it makes it much more comfortable to to wear I use German short rows because that's my favorite um, and then from there when you come down we've got this really fun bumblebee stitch pattern it's a lace pattern but it's not too fussy it's just got a nice amount of interest in it so with circular yoke there's no increases in the lace pattern you just work the lace pattern and then the increases are in circles in between the lace patterns so it means that you're either working increases or you're working working the lace pattern you're not trying to combine the two together very simple very straightforward easy to keep track of your stitches it counts as you're going along and then you work all the way down to the depth you want for your armhole take your sleeves off cast on underarm stitches and work the body down I've worked it as a gentle a-line so it means there's just increases happening down to the waist you can work that straight down if you want to you could also if you even wanted to go ahead and put a little bit of waist shaping or it decreases a little bit and then increases I will give some tips for that all the way through in the video so our in the video and also in the actual pattern itself and the knit along as we're going through I'll suggest tips for all the ways of changing it there's a cute little lace motif down here and a couple of more on the sleeves just real small delicate ones small little bits of this just added in to add a small bit more interest um, the length of it is a fairly uh, generous length it, it's not it's not terribly short but you can even adjust that length if you wanted to same with the sleeves I've got quite a few three quarter length sleeves which I'll often do for spring but this time I decided to switch it up a little bit and make full length sleeves but that could be something that you can finish sooner end up here if you're more of a three quarter length sleeve kind of person so those are all the details 
there will be a full video workshop going along with this where you'll get step-by-step -step directions on how to work each stage with tips and suggestions and kind of things to watch out for as you're going along. So I do hope you come along and join us for the, the, holly, the blue holly uh, spring knit-along cardigan for 2023.